Hi. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about M Auto Volume, another interesting plugin from Melder Production. It's a level controlling plugin. However, if we look at its interface, we won't find many controllers associated with a traditional compressor like the threshold or ratio, for example. And yet, it belongs to the dynamic processor group. Its purpose is to stabilize the incoming signal's level, and it's achieved by a variation of the plugin's gain. Let's have a look at its interface. I think that the general parameters like input, output gain and look ahead are pretty self-explanatory. So I won't spend time discussing them. The only parameter which may look new to you is the sensitivity. In essence, this is the dry wet controller and it sets the strength of the effect. Much more interesting are the advanced controllers and understanding them is crucial for the successful use of the plugin. So let's look at them closely. The range sets the maximum value the incoming signal will be amplified or attenuated to. Look at the picture on the right. Here we can see a transfer function, the green line, of M auto volume with the range set to plus 3 dB. The horizon axis shows the input signal's level, and the vertical axis is the output one. What we can see here, if the input signal is low, is it will be amplified by plus 3 dB max. However, if it's high, then its amplitude will be attenuated by minus 3 dB max. The unity gain, that is the output signal, has the same amplitude as the input one, is at minus 16 dB, approximately. The most interesting part is here, from minus 22 dB and upwards. This is where the gains change happens. Now, let's set the range to plus 12 dB. At this value, the low input signals will be turned up plus 12 dB max, and the maximum reduction for the high level signals will be minus 12 dB. The gain variation starts kicking in from approximately minus 31 dB. Let's hear it in action. Here's a track I'd like to apply this effect to. Listen to the effect the range has. <laughs> As you can hear, even a small change in the range settings leads to a big change in the sound. Here's when the sensitivity parameters come in handy, as it helps to set the necessary amount of gain adjustment in a much smoother manner. The next parameter is the speed. It controls how fast M auto volume reacts to the changes in the incoming signal. The higher the value, the faster reaction. I'll play the song's intro and you pay attention to the attacks of the synth part. <laughs> Values close to 100% can cause distortions, so this is something to be careful with. The noise floor sets the level of the noise gate. The incoming signals with values lower than that will be muted. It's useful if you don't want M auto volume to amplify signals that you consider rather as a noise. If you don't need this function, set the noise floor to minus 80 dB. I think it would be safe to say that all plugins from Melder Production possess a comprehensive metering, and M Auto Volume isn't an exception. Here we find the input and output level meters. Further down is the meter showing a signals level in the side chain, and finally the gain meter. The last one reveals the gain changes that the plugins employs to the input signal. Moreover, we can even write and read the gain changes as VST automation. The result may not be as responsive as one can achieve with a plugins detector. 
However, it gives a distortion-free method and is invaluable in film post-production for dialogues. To do that, make settings you like in M Auto Volume. Activate Write VST Automation in your host and press on the Write button in the plugin. Play back your track. Now, turn off the Write button and click on the Read one. Switch your host to Read VST Automation mode. Play back the track again. M Auto Volume is ignoring its detector signal and is reading VST Gain Automation instead. I can open the Gain Automation track and edit it if I want to. I could achieve a similar result by drawing the faders automation manually. However, as you can see, this method is much, much faster and easier. Finally, let's talk about the side chain feature. Apart from the classic side chain application in compressors, where an external source is used for ducking an incoming signal, here in M Auto Volume, it is used to tie an input signal's level to the level of the signal in a side chain. What happens is, First, both signals get analysed. Then, M Auto Volume uses the sidechain signal as a guide to decide whether the input signal's gain must be attenuated or amplified if necessary. Let me demonstrate it with a vocal track. Here is my plan. I insert M Auto Volume into the vocal track. Activate its sidechain here and there. I'm going to use a music track to control the vocal's level. To get that, I send the music into M Auto Volume's sidechain in the vocal track. We're heading to the city that never sleeps. We are all just misfits dreaming. We never grow tired, we will never hesitate. If I move the music track's fader down, the vocal one will go down too, and vice versa. I understand that you're not going to do that during mixing, but you can see the point. The vocal track follows the music. This is a beautiful trick for mixing. If you're happy with the instruments or vocals dynamics, you can easily build the rest of the mix around it. And the whole mix will sound glued. Again, you can record the gain changes as VST automation and edit it later if you want to. The last two parameters we need to get familiarized with are the background sensitivity and background gain. The first one sets how precisely M Auto Volume tracks the sidechain signal's level. At 0%, the sidechain signal won't have an influence on the plugin's gain variation at all, whereas at 100%, the tracking will be at its full. We're heading to the city that never sleeps. We are all just misfits dreaming. We never grow tired, we will never hesitate. Yeah, yeah. The background gain simply amplifies or attenuates the sidechain signal. It doesn't affect the plugin's dynamic nature. However, it can be useful for comparison purposes if you are checking the M Auto volumes work with or without the sidechain signal. Thank you for watching. <laughs>